Hey, how's it guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure a Python virtual environment using VS Code. So before diving into the tutorial, if you've never worked with a Python virtual environment before, a Python virtual environment is basically an isolated environment that everything you do stays within that environment. And one of the benefits using a Python virtual environment is that when you have multiple projects, and you want to make sure that each project uses the appropriate version of uh, Python libraries. In that case, every single uh, Python library that you install only stays within that environment. So it's going to be very easy for you to manage different Python library version. So here in my Python VNV folder or directory, so I have a list of folders. And all these folders are my uh, Python environments. So in my Airflow environment, Azure Cloud environment, BigQuery Cloud Storage and a couple other uh, Python uh, environments. Now let me go ahead and launch my VS Code. Now to configure a Python virtual environment in VS Code, inside VS Code, we want to go to Settings. Then click on Settings. On the top, you want to search for Python VMV. Now in my VS Code, I'm setting my VMV path to point to my uh, my Python VMV directory. Now, if you have multiple uh, Python environments like me, then you can set uh, which one you want to use as the default. And here I'm using my G Cloud uh, Python virtual environment as the default. Now, once you set up your environment, now if you want to uh, create a new environment, actually, I don't need to close uh, VS Code. All right, so let me go back. Now, let me launch my terminal. Now I'm going to use the shortcut Control Shift P to uh, open the command palette. And I'm going to uh, search for Python slash interpreter. All right, so here I can uh, choose different uh, environment that I want to work with. So for example, if I'm doing uh, data analysis work, then I can choose my data analysis environment. So sometimes VS Code may fail to capture all the environments. In that case, I want to click on Enter Interpreter Path. And basically, you want to merely uh, browse the environment. So, in, for example, let's say uh, VS Code failed to recognize my dbt demo uh, Python virtual environment. It should not this one. This one is empty. Uh, let's do G Cloud. Then I can uh, navigate to my G Cloud uh, directory. Inside the directory, you want to search for actually this one is not environment either. All right. So let's use Google APIs. I know for for sure that. Uh, that's one of the environments that I use the most. All right, so inside the, uh, here, let me zoom in a bit more. Now inside the environment, you should see a folder called scripts. Now navigate to the scripts folder. Now I want to click on the uh, Python interpreter that assigned to that environment. And the file name should be python.exe. Select the file, then click on select interpreter. Now let's say I'm uh, working in a directory that is not under my Python VMV uh, directory. All right, so for example, on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder. Should uh, new folder, not a new file. Sorry. All right, so I'll go ahead and create a new Python file. Let's call this demo.py. And within the new folder directory, I'm going to launch my VS Code. Now, if I open the demo.py file, now VS Code is going to uh, detect the uh, file type. Then it's going to automatically activate the uh, default environment, which is going to be G Cloud. Now, from the status bar, I can click on uh, the environment here on the uh, bottom right corner to uh, display all the environments that VS Code is able to uh, detect. Now, I can choose different environment that I want to work with. In this case, I want to choose my data analysis environment as the uh, target environment. Now I can see that the uh, current environment that VS Code is using is going to be the uh, data analysis environment. Now at this point, my demo.py file will be able to access all the libraries under this uh, data analysis environment, such as uh, Pandas, SciPy, or MapPyLib, or a couple others. So this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video, and hope you guys found this video useful. And if you have any questions or any feedback, please post it in the comment section below. 
And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.